Come on, Lizzie! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog with my girl Salt here. I hope you're having an amazing day. And you know, the truth is, is that you guys see on the vlog all the time I'm playing with these animals like Salt and all the animals for that matter. And that's what people typically think I do for a living, right? They're like, oh, he has such a great job. He gets to play with these animals all day. And don't get me wrong, I do have the best job in the world. I mean, everything I do is absolutely amazing. But the truth is, if I really want to get honest with you guys, is that I probably spend about 10 percent of my time playing with salt and the other 90 percent of the time I'm actually cleaning up after salt so when you're dealing with really any business but in particular animal business the majority is work and there's only a little bit of play but don't get me wrong that work is certainly worth this precious time I get to spend with beautiful animals like my girl salt but speaking of that I've got to clean her enclosure up And any really true reptile person, or animal person for that matter, actually enjoys the maintenance part. Again, you may think I just play with the animals, but I'm working with them a lot. But the truth is, I almost enjoy working with painting and making the enclosures look amazing as much as I enjoy working with the animals. It sounds weird, I know that, but that's part of it. Because all my life, all I've done is work with animals, and cleaning is such a huge part of it. And to have a beautiful, clean enclosure that I know they're happy with and also looks amazing, that's fun too, right? So I don't look at the work part as like, oh, I gotta work hard and I don't get to play with my animals. I think that this is just as cool of a part as anything. It's a big part of keeping reptiles of all sorts, but I absolutely love it and I can't wait to get these guys back going because I know they're gonna look beautiful today. And it's obviously been pretty well documented that I love spending time in my anaconda's enclosure, Ivy. I mean, just chilling with her. She is just such a beautiful animal and I know a lot of times you guys just see this where I climb in here and I chill out with her. She usually comes up and climbs up on me, hangs out with me. What are you doing today, girl? What are you doing today, sweetheart? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How are you today? You doing okay? And again, you know, you guys see all of this part, right? Hanging out with her, interacting with her and stuff like that. And I gotta be honest with you, I've mentioned this a million times. She's my therapy animal. She is absolutely wonderful. I love her to death. I love spending time in this enclosure. But the truth is, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Out of all the animals I keep when it comes to snakes, anacondas are the most work intensive. I am not gonna lie to you. Literally almost every single day, if not twice a day, I have to get in here and clean up a mess that Ivy or Aries has made. But they are so worth it. I mean, absolutely worth all of that energy. Cause again, look at this snake. I mean, just kind of chilling out going, dad, what is going on? So that work is what it's really about. I'm not even gonna lie to you. If I spend a half hour, 45 minutes a day on a good day, hanging out, chilling in with Ivy. I'm spending at least 10 hours a week cleaning her enclosure. So there's a lot of work to be done. And as always, she did a little pee in her water today, so we are gonna be cleaning up her mess. So, But I think I will spend a little bit of time in here first, just to kind of get my mental state together. And then we'll hop in the water and get this darn thing cleaned up.
know how wild this is, but I have Ivy over here just kind of chilling out, seeing what's going on. I've got Aries down here at my feet, smelling over here. I mean, what kind of life is this, man? I mean, this is just crazy. Aries, what are you doing, buddy, bud? What are you doing, Ivy? I'm. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, man. I mean, I did not know anacondas were like this before I worked with them, where they're just so curious where they just want to come over. They're more like a dog, where they're just like sniffing and sensing like, I smell cat on you or something. I don't know what it is, but wild to have both Aries and Ivy just kind of checking me out. I'm loving this, man. I know I've got to get in and do some work and clean this cage up, but uh, right now, this is too awesome to pass up the opportunity to just chill out here for as long as these guys want to spend time with me. I'm going to just hang out here and spend time with them. And again, I love working on this enclosure. I love getting in the water. Aries is absolutely ridiculous. He follows me around like a puppy dog. Uh, I, you know, so it's kind of exciting too because I'm not only cleaning, but I'm dodging him. I'm trying to have fun. Ivy sometimes will do that to me too. So again, the work is a fun thing. You know, if you don't love cleaning and taking care of your enclosures, you probably shouldn't keep animals or reptiles for sure. But uh, it's all part of it, and I love it. And even though it seems like all I do is play with animals, the truth is, the majority of the time I'm working on animals but it is the work is part of it you got to love it if you love that you'll be successful at doing it there's no doubt about that so uh, I think this cage just needs to be cleaned up and then we can move on to playing with some other animals including a awesome ball python clutch that just hatched out and like I mentioned this was actually that spied which is spider pied that was bred to an albino pied so I knew we we're gonna have all pieds but the one thing that kind of came out was a big surprise. So again, first off, these are beautiful pies, and these are het for albino, because again, the adult male was an albino pie, but look at the color and pattern on these things. I mean, this one is an absolute ripper. I mean, look at that crazy pattern, absolutely incredible. This one is beautiful too, so really, all the normal pies that are het for albino turned out really, really wonderful. This is the one that trips me out because again, spies are basically like all white, right? And then they have a little head cap with a spider kind of look to them. Well, this one has an all white head, but then it has a blotch down here that is really unusual. So I've never seen a pied like this before. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I've seen a couple pictures like that, but it doesn't make any sense because this should have head pattern and it shouldn't have any pattern on its body because the spies are always white body and then just the cap of the head. So again, this one's kind of a mystery to me. It is one of the cooler animals I have. It looks like really like a black-eyed leucistic because the eyes are black and actually has ruby-colored pupils, which is just absolutely incredible. But then it has this weird blotch on the back of it. I don't know what it's all about. I think it's super cool. We're definitely gonna raise this thing up because it's awesome. I mean, I love it to death. It's super, super cool. Again, so all in all, we hatched out some pretty cool pies that are had albino, and then this mystery snake here that has this really cool pattern on it. I mean, that, that is awesome. That's one of the things that's amazing about snake breeding, right, is when you hatch snakes, you never know what you're gonna get. And a lot of times you get surprises. And today we definitely got a surprise as this one, but I couldn't be more happy about it. Open here at the Reptarium tonight. We're having a really good time, and I've got a special guest tonight. It is actually Luke. You guys came all the way from Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver, Washington. All right, Vancouver, Washington. What do you want to see? What's the thing you want to check out? Um, I wanted to check out Lucy. Lucy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I tell you what, she's a little bit crazy, but come with me. We'll figure something out. 
Hey, right. does anyone know who has Lucy's keys? Lucy? You see? You're okay, baby girl. All right, Luke, want to come in here? Yeah. Okay, grab her. Grab her right here. Okay. Uh, try to pick her up. Whoa, she is heavy. She's all you. Cool. She is sure heavy. I think she's getting away from us, Luke. That's oh. all right. Keep pulling. You got her. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> it's a battle you're losing. Come on, you're losing, Luke. You're losing the battle. Careful. Come on, Lucy. Oh, man. Let's All right, that All right oh. I think she won. Luke, you did a good job, bud. <laughs> good try. She's heavy, huh? There yeah. She Hi, Lucy. Good job. What else you want to see? That was absolutely amazing with Luke. I mean, it's uh, it's good to see that type of experience. And, and for those of you who think, I didn't put him in danger. I was there the entire time watching every move that he made, made sure Lucy was in no position to do anything because I wanted him to have an amazing experience. And I think about that, like, you know, that's something he's going to probably remember the rest of his life, wrangling a 20-foot snake. And on top of that, he actually asked me the only other thing he wanted to do was get in with Ivy. And I thought, you know, he came a long way, so why not go ahead and make that dream come true? Go ahead. Give us a second. You can sit down right here, and she'll sit right by you. Wow, she's so cool. Isn't she awesome? Yeah, she's so cool. <laughs> That's my girl. I love her to death. She's my yeah. best. Here she comes. Come on, Ivy. Come on, sweetheart. How uh, much does she, does she weigh? About 100 pounds. Wow. Yeah, she's awesome, huh? Yeah. Let's we'll let her crawl over to you. I think this is the biggest snake I've ever seen. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. You can pat her. She'll just come over and sniff you now. Wow, she's so cool. <laughs> She's coming to say hi to you. What do you think? She's super cool. Isn't it awesome? Her head is just massive. Yeah, she's just checking me out. She's awesome, huh? Oh, she's, yeah. my, she's my baby. I love her to death. Oh yeah, she is so but cool. not biting them. No, she won't bite. She likes people. Her pattern is so cool. It's like so cool how it's like... It's Aww. Kind of reminds me of a hognose snake. Yeah, it's kind of similar, yeah. Do you have all bites of animals here? How old is she? She's seven years old now. Wow, he's getting old. How, how long do they live for? They'll live, they live like 40 years. Wow, it's like a ball python? Yep. Yeah, I have a ball python. She'll probably go in the water now. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. About the awesomest thing I've ever seen. And that's another fun-filled night done here at the Reptarium. Had an absolutely amazing time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, if you want to know how we built this place, if you haven't already seen, here's a playlist of us building the Reptarium. You can do me a favor right up here. You can subscribe to my podcast channel. We've had some bangers here lately. On this side, I hope that you're subscribed to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.